All right, the distribution layer. Now, this could be kind of confusing, the, the drawing, because it, it looks like, you know, all your networks are down, all your PCs are down here, then they go to this router, and this router routes it over here. But really, the distribution layer, it's the goal between the access layer and the core, as you can see. Not always is it going to take it to the core, because in the distribution layer, that'll be your NAT, that'll be your firewall, that'll be your inter VLANs, that'll be your routing policies, your quality of service, all these different things, your policy-based routings, all, all that will be here, the distribution layer. Obviously, I didn't build an entire network and show different connections everywhere. Just showing you the, you know, there's three layers. But this is the one that's doing the majority of the work. That's the one that the routing, the major routing, the deciding, hey, is this going to go to the core layer? Because it has to go to the core layer. Because it's going to go to another campus. It's going to go to another building. Or is it just going somewhere else? It's going to this router, right? If I had a connection going here. Or is it going to another VLAN? Because there's other VLANs coming down. So this distribution layer really is doing all that work, okay? So, yeah, speed in any kind of router, but it's a beefy router, all right? Unlike the core, definitely it's going to be a beefy router. And in the core, one thing I didn't mention was, and you don't want to expand the core. You try to avoid it. The one thing you want to do is upgrade it, definitely. Uh, but is your distribution the one that's making the deciding factor? Hey, does this really need to go to the core, or can I route it some other way? The only time that, remember, that rule, 80% of all traffic should be local to your segment, this is somewhat applies here as well. So if you're going to avoid trying to get outside because it's got to go to the core, because it's going somewhere else, then the distribution router is the one that's going to make that decision. That's why you have your QoS. That's why you have your routing policies. That's where you have your access list. That's where you have your intervenance, like I said before. So... This is going to be doing a lot of the routing decisions, whether it's going to, if it's, is it necessary for go to, to go to the, the core router, or can I just route it to the other router next door, or is it going back down, or what the case may be. So that is your distribution layer. That is your distribution layer. You, again, it'll make the decision. Am I going to send it to the core router? That's the main thing you need to be concerned with. And as far as, you know, what you shouldn't do is what the other two layers are doing, really. Uh, but other than that, it's going to have the majority of the work that that is doing. It's the distribution layer. That's where all the routing is going on. And again, in your test, they're not going to ask you all those questions. You may get asked one question. They may ask you, what are the three layers of the Cisco router, of the Cisco three layer? Uh, model they may ask you you know which is the most important layer now the core layer things are very basic questions but understand that a lot the chunk the main the meat and potatoes as I like to call it is going on right here because we don't want to bog down that core router as I said previously we want just information to pass back and forth and it's the distribution layer that makes that decision hey am I gonna send this packet to the core router so again is your distribution layer the one that's really doing all the routing, all the access list, everything that is required to actually route the packets in the direction that they should be going, okay? That's your distribution layer. See you in the next one.